drip. Let's go, go, go. It's another K Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. Today, I got a quick tutorial. Today, I'm gonna do the taper. I don't, I didn't use a guard on this taper, and mainly because it's already low. So, if you get a haircut that comes in like this, a taper or any kind of haircut, you can do it without using a guard at this point, right? because it's, it's not much to blend in there's not a lot of bulk so you know the first thing you want to do is just create your first guideline with whatever tool you like to use and if you have a hard time removing the first guideline then use a tool that doesn't make a hard guideline and also try not to make a hard guideline in the first place you know what i mean so you can take a pair of trimmers that's not all the way set to zero gap and use them you know something like the wall mag the small one you can use that because it's not all the way zero gap but it'll get it close enough to where you can do what you need to do now after that you come back with no guard on your seniors or magic clip or whatever clipper you're using you use it open and then you just work your way you know open to close basically right Now, the whole time that you go and open the clothes, make sure you're using just the corners of your blade in order to feather, you know, whatever bulk is there out and also to remove the first guideline that we made. And, you know, using the corner of the blade is essential, right? It's essential in getting the type of look that you want and also making everything blend well right and you can see you see how the line is the guideline is basically gone the bulk that i wanted to remove is removed i wanted to keep it thick in the front towards the the vertical bars because when i get ready to do the lineup i need something there to to make it pop a little bit right and we're going to use enhancements on this haircut no doubt about it but you see that right we use the same tool that we put the guideline in with to take the guideline out you see it's a ball taper right this is a ball taper to me i know somebody's gonna say well ball taper you need to uh not have the c cup but whatever this is a high taper for me right so on the other side we do the exact same thing you create your first guideline with whatever tool you did on the other side you see that and try not to make it too defined you know Make sure you're using your wrist more than your actual hand, right? Your wrist will allow you to make a guideline that's removable, right? So it's all in the wrist, right? And then, like I said, you go open the close. Make sure you use the corner of the blade in order to remove the bulk and to feather at the same time, the exact same thing that we did on the other side. So you just want to go open and close and you just want to work your way down. As far as the back goes, we do the exact same thing. I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of it. I skipped little parts, but it's the exact same steps, the exact same process that we did on the sides. You just make your first guideline. You kind of just bring it up a little higher. You go open the close um, to remove that bottom guideline. Uh, I opened it up medium right there because I didn't want to go up too high and you know I didn't need to do open the close but if you just learn you want to do open and close so that's the exact same thing now let's get to the lineup part and what this video is really all about now I ain't want to bore you with the uh, how to line up 
the back of the neck, around the ear. We we pretty much know how to do that, right? That's kind of simple, right? And so right here, you know, I got my Mr. Outliner Detailing Miss. And again, if you if you're new to the channel, I have a website that I post in my description where you can buy this detailing miss. It helps get the hairline crispy, it keeps the hair in place before you line it up. And also you can use it as a locking method to lock in fibers. So if you use hair fibers, you can also use it to lock those in. So uh, look in my description is MrOutliner.com and you can go there and purchase the product. Now, once after you spray, you wanna let it dry, and it dries pretty quickly, right? So after that, you wanna start, find a starting point on the hairline that you wanna start on, and it's mainly, basically, towards the middle, right? And that's what you wanna do, and just take your time going across. Uh, it's, it's easy, it, it's sound, I'm making it sound easier than it is, but you have to really take your time with it and focus on what you're doing in order to get a straight crispy lineup. Now, this is before enhancements, and you can tell that this line is already short, right? I I don't need enhancements, or he doesn't need enhancements. I don't need enhancements to make a sharp lineup. Let's get that point understood, right? Second of all, he doesn't necessarily need enhancements but it's gonna look 10 times better when I use enhancements right just because certain contrast because of contrast right the light spots that's right there where I'm at right now is gonna become much more fuller right much more vibrant and you know everything is just gonna blend so well together so but the point of this this tutorial what I'm trying to teach you in this tutorial is how to basically use the hair fiber, right? Now, you wanna spray the hair fiber on when the hair is dry, right? And this is after you create your first outline of the lineup, right? And we just taking our time with these vertical bars in the corners. You want to make sure your corners are sharp because that's going to give you the look that you're looking for. And you see why I left hair towards the front. So when I create my lineup, it'll give me something to work with. And I can look at what I was telling you in the beginning about when I was doing the taper part of it. So excuse me a little bit, I, I lose control of where the camera is or lose, you know, awareness of where the camera is sometimes. So I really wanted to show you this part, but it, it'll come back in. But, you know, you want to create sharp corners, you know, without compromising the edge of So... Uh, take like I said take your time and focus on that and once you get that part of it down then it's it makes everything else easier then you want to take whatever card you have and use it as a guide and you want to spray you see me spraying the hair fiber off of the card onto the hair right that's what you want to do and that's going to help facilitate the hair fiber where it needs to be and also makes it where it gives it a natural look right and i have a hair automizer right here i'll leave a link in the description where you can pick up this hair automizer also because the hair automizer helps disperse the hair fiber much more evenly if you ask me right but like i said you want to apply the hair fiber when it's dry right and then once you apply it you just come back and do the exact same thing that you was doing before right and this is where you detail even more because wherever you hit it at and leave the hair fiber at that's where it's gonna stay and then you take the mr outliner detailing miss and lock them in once you got everything right and like i said if you ever think you use too much hair fiber take the wide end of the comb and slightly comb 
you know, fade it out, right? Help to fade it out. You take the detail and miss. Now it's locked in. Boom. You see that? So that's how you use the hair fiber, right? And you just let it dry. So then you can go to the other side and you can do the exact same thing that you did. And you see how much better it looks with the hair fiber before than before, right? So this is the look that you want. This is how you create it. You turn them around and you do the exact same thing on the other side. And you know, to complete the haircut, you, you start from the middle, wherever you started at on the other side and you come across and you know, you do the exact same thing, right? Take your time and the same thing, you know, haircutting is about repetition and having a system on how to do it. You know, following the exact same steps on every haircut so you'll be comfortable and you can get consistent results of the same look you know you can look at some, a lot of my haircuts and be like oh mr outliner did that that lineup or mr outliner did the haircut because i use the same system all the time right on every haircut you know it's just you know guidelines change and you know things like that starting points and stuff like that but basically the system is the same the fade technique is the same and, you know whichever technique you want to use is is fine you know what i mean but for me i um you know i, I know a lot of different techniques to use but i i use this one a lot in my videos so i can help people get a consistent look so just kind of watch what i'm doing right here and you know i'll come back I just want you to pay attention to what I'm doing, right? So, you know, and apply it. Uh, somebody dropped under my video, um, an old video that I did on a ball fade, and he said that today he used my technique for the ball fade, you know, and, and he was amazed by it. So, a lot of times with anything, this is not with haircutting, this is life lesson period if you want to get the results that somebody else is getting right you have to buy into the system that is being presented and it might take 30 times of buying into the same system before you start to get the results you want to see it's not going to happen in the first five tries if it does, it's great. But if it doesn't, it's not because it doesn't work. It's just you haven't applied it enough to in order to get the result that you're looking for, right? You know, on my Instagram channel, which is Mr. Out, Mr. Outliner, I drop barber tips of the day every Tuesday. I try to do it every Tuesday. So things like this is some of the things that I talk about, uh, you know, outside of cutting hair because everything is not just about cutting hair it's like it's a it's a life lesson in it and it's a business aspect to cutting hair you know what i mean this is cutting hair is cool but you gotta you know have other intangibles to go along with it but um back to the haircut you know you want to come back after you got everything kind of lined up the way you want it you just want to come back and you know detail it even more use your mirror make sure everything is lined up y'all see how this dude looking he a one he ready he he virtual school ready you know what i mean he he ready to get all the virtual girls in the, in the school house man he's super fresh you know what i'm saying and we we was just in you know headed for a hurricane out here in houston i'm in houston texas a lot of people always ask where i'm at i'm in houston texas uh, the name of my barbershop is Outliners Barbershop. So I'm I'm about to open a second location so you can catch me at either location. But anyway, that's the end of the tour. This is how you use hair fiber. This is how you create a good lineup. This is how you do a taper, right? So anyway, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out.